Tonight, we visit Zombies of the Corn in Freedom, Pennsylvania, and Tom was here. Hello out there, wherever you are. As for me, I'm at Zombies of the Corn for opening night. Freedom, Pennsylvania. This is Three Rivers Paintball. Um, so it is a kind of a haunt, um, but really you're here for one thing. And that is the shoot zombies with paintballs. That is that is the hook. That is the reason for the season. Look, I went here. I went here five years ago. I think four or five years ago was the first time I was here. Um, I had not really been to any haunted houses before that time, and we came here for my wife's birthday. Had some friends and just had a blast. Had a blast shooting zombies with paintballs. And they have a haunted house, and they have um, one of the newer additions newer being not the last in the last five years uh, they added a maze and opening tonight for the Halloween season Funhouse 3D which is a 3D kind of walkthrough attraction um, so Alex here at, at Zombies of the Corn was so kind to let me film some of the experience um, once again proving as it seems with almost every encounter I have with someone that works at a haunt that haunt people are my favorite type of people. So we're gonna kind of walk around, see the sights and sounds of the zombies of the corn, do like a little quick review, cause I'm not gonna show you everything. Um, just a little, little here, a little there, of the various attractions that they offer here. And we'll let you know our thoughts on the whole experience. Let's go check it out. I was just watching a fire truck. Okay, let's talk a little ticket prices. Um, so Zombies of the Corn is listed online as $34.99 per person. Now, um, when we ordered tickets earlier today, uh, it was actually $39.99 because we ordered them only a few hours before we showed up. And I wonder if we had to pay a premium because we ordered so late for tickets. But even at $34.99 per person, it is one of the more expensive haunts in the Pittsburgh area. But there's no other haunt in the Pittsburgh area that offers a zombie paintball shoot. And I do feel with Zombies of the Corn, there is a large variety of things that you can do there. And I do feel you can make an evening out of it. So if you do make an evening out of it, I do feel it's worth that price tag. Um, but I would definitely order tickets online in advance. So you can lock down your time frame. And I'm sure when it gets a lot you know, into the Halloween season hot and heavy, that those times fill up pretty quick. So you definitely want to order that well in advance. So before we get into the zombie shoot, there are a few things to check out. Um, zombies this way is the zombie compound, um, which is like the main haunted house. That's what you can see kind of in the background. The Z maze is up those steps there. And then the fun house 3d is their newest attraction. And it's kind of off to the right, um, past the haunted house, um, over on that side there. I guess we'll go fun house 3d. I guess you can do them in any order. So this is their newest attraction, just opening up tonight. So we're gonna check this out. Giving us the free. Uh, all right. there we go. I hate clowns. You're not getting the 3D effect that I am on here. That's a human. Is that a human? That's not a human. The glass is halfway through. One of you are alive, but which one are you are alive? 
Which one of you are alive? Which one of you are alive? Oh, they need. Okay, let's talk a little Funhouse 3D. This is their newest attraction, and it was opening night for it. Um, not a super long walkthrough, um, but I really did dig some of the elements in there. I thought the 3D was actually surprisingly good, even though you're given, like, paper glasses to go through. I do think it's a little strange that they ditched them halfway through. The other thing is that, and I know it was kind of fuzzy... Um, on the video um, and didn't really focus properly but there's a large room of kind of inanimate um, figures and you assume that there's quite a few that are alive and you're just waiting for more of them to kind of pop out and it never really like only a few happened and it was like later in the thing i do think because it's opening night and it's still september i do think as they get closer to like haunt season there'll be more people in there um to scare but beyond that i dug it i thought you know it was a cool addition and definitely a fun walkthrough okay next stop the zombie compound which i think is the main haunted house of the there's people out here it's just a lighted path a very low lighted path that guides your way. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, it seems friendly. Oh yeah, this is it, I think. Hey, what made you decide to come and spend the evening with me? Oh, well, you're incredibly sweet. Ah, uh, yes I am. Yeah, and, and that's, that was it. I mean, oh, that was simple as that. chicken as well. Oh, well, <coughs> look, I didn't know I was getting bonuses in that regard. Wow, there you go. <laughs> so this is your first time here? My first time. Yes. Oh, so you're the sacrificial that's lamb. <laughs> Okay, I'm back here playing with my hind end. Apparently, my bed driver. Okay. <laughs> it is back here. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a real disaster. Yeah. yeah all right. So, um, he hasn't been here before, so yes. he's a sacrificial lamb. Right. going to push you through the door first. Okay. I'll go down behind you, whine and cry. <laughs> you know, she's using the hammer in there. I think again this year. After the fourth or fifth whack, it doesn't hurt much anymore. I knew it. All right. So I am the yeah, only zombie up. that will touch you. No other zombies will touch you, therefore you may not touch the zombies. Hold on tight, there are no li lights in there. Thank you very much. You drop it. Uh, yes. right on. Oh. Open that door. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. I hope you, you so haven't much. eaten yet, because dinner is served. Oh, yum. <laughs> Hello. Oh, they got a pot on for us. Very... <laughs> and I get jolted by the noises. I, I don't know. You want to look inside? Well, what's your shirt say? Directly. What? Well, what's your shirt say? Is that you on your shirt? That's me on my what, shirt. What's that say? Tom was here oh. on YouTube. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. <laughs> Mr. Wizard? Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> Did I miss? I knew she, I was wondering. I was wondering if Mr. Wizard was. Stop oh! Stop it! Stop it! 
Oh, we're catching up with the next group. Can't do that. No, 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 don't do it. <laughs> Me? That tastes uh, Oh, thank you. Okay, we just found our way out of the zombie compound. It's like the main haunted house of zombies of the corn. And it's great. Um, you know, it's not like a super long walk through, but there's a variety of theming, good scares in there. Uh, I do enjoy the, um, the house. They put a lot into the house. And then there's like a backyard. There's like a zombie area. There's a corn kind of somewhat of a corn maze, but not a true maze. Um, but there's a lot going on in you know i would say like a 15 minute experience uh quite a lot because a lot of scare actors a lot of good scares this is a really great haunted house and definitely worth the time and effort to go through and check it out there's also like a walkway um if you see it down there but there's like a a very dark walkway that goes up with creatures kind of coming out of the woods at you and a few different characters like there's like a granny character and like an uncle like hillbilly type character that are really great at the front they kind of like run like the queue line and tell people when to go in and stuff but all in all like i said a really great great haunted house experience um and a great addition to the overall offerings that they're giving you at zombies of the corn ah. <laughs> Do you need a or anything else? Well, yeah, we just take, we just take from there. How was it? Great. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Follow me. Oh, it's, this, I like this better. It gives guides. I know what I'm do you want to not believe it? Do you want to go the opposite way? No, I I trust your instinct. If we go right out, you were the ultimate maze uh, enthusiast. Is that literally the exit? I swear. Okay. <laughs> Why hello hello hello. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh, that's a... That's a misnomer. Way? Or this? Way? Alright. Don't go running out. You know I won't be able to get out of here alone. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that a way? Is this a way? Oh, shh. Yikes. Oh, I'm breaking one of these bands. Look at that. What a champ. What a champ. Okay, we just completed the Z maze. And I'll be honest, it is one of the better um, 
haunted house mazes I've ever been at. There's a variety of theming in there and interesting, um, something that me, who's terrible at mazes, and Todd, who apparently is a wizard at mazes, uh, pointed out that I will not spoil for you, but let's just say the path less taken is maybe the path to go on. Just you know, take that for what it is. If you can read behind the, the code of that. But there's a great character in the middle, probably my favorite character of the night, um, that kind of, um, there's a point where you walk in and there's like a fork in the road. And that person, you know, really asks you to pick which way you want to go. You decide your way, and then she laughs at you. Look, as someone who laughs through haunted houses, I, I appreciate a good laugher, and she was great. She's probably my favorite, I would say, character of the night. But great maze, definitely worth your time. And we had a good 10, maybe 15 minutes in there. 10, 15 minutes, mind you, not like a mindless escape like me and Matt were at 100 Acres Manor, but a lot of varying different things that you run into in that maze that I will not spoil for you and you have to come and experience yourself. One thing to add in regards to the maze, um, Alex did make sure to point out that the maze is um, family friendly. So it's a, I know my my shadow of my camera. You can see my camera in the shadow of my head. Um, but the maze is family friendly and um, they do want to include that as being that this is a family friendly environment. So while the zombie compound is a little more, I would say adult themed, nothing really the fun house, the uh, haunted house or the maze are really, I would say, they're definitely PG to PG-13, so it definitely is a family experience. They also have movie showing every night, like you can kind of sit there and watch a movie. They have Beetlejuice going tonight. They have campfire ghost stories. So it really is a family-friendly environment that you're getting at Zombies of the Corn, uh, unlike some of the other haunted house experiences in the area, which are definitely more adult themed. Oh, yes indeed. Chariot awaits. And then Greta Thorberg was like, Michael, that you remain seated at all times and be ready to eradicate the zombie threat. Please, no smoking while on the ride. Okay, people, here is a situation. Deep in the forest surrounding the small town of Freedom, Pennsylvania, rests the historical prison compound. It houses some of the worst criminals in the Pittsburgh area. The prison is notorious for escape attempts and other grisly crimes committed within its walls. Recently, the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, entered the prison in an effort to find volunteers for a highly publicized medical research project. But something has gone terribly wrong. News reports break on every major station in Pittsburgh, and aerial video clips show smoke emanating from the prison courtyard. There are mobs of criminals swarming the walls trying to escape, bodies strewn about, and lots of blood. The criminals appear to be limping and shambling around like zombies. Hey, between you and me guys, you guys are the best shots tonight. I'm really appreciative. I don't want to get bitten at all tonight.
box, I then started to run down the stairs. And when I looked out the window, I saw you in my dream, Mr. Fox. I saw you and you were pulling another dead lady to the castle. I watched you from behind a cask, a large barrel, as you pulled that dead lady up the stairs and you And here I was walking out. I had an intro. I had everything sorted out. The video was done. And Alex was so kind, so incredibly kind. Actually gave me and Todd t-shirts, a glow stick, a bag here. Thanks for coming out. She was she was way too nice to the nicer than we deserved. Let's put it. <laughs> No, she's really sweet. And like I said, haunt people are the best. Alex continues that winning tradition. She even went above and beyond. I I, uh, I really didn't expect this. So thank you, Alex. Uh, if you do watch the video, uh, incredibly kind, way too way too generous. But but thank you so so much. It was greatly appreciated. So let's see what is in the bounty of goods that Alex bestowed upon us here. We got glow stick. What about this? Wow! Is that a, a candy apple? A very carameled, sprinkled... Uh, there's just all types of stuff going on in that candy apple. And, um, and as she mentioned... Oh, 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 oh. Ah. I have an edit. A... Oh, we're gonna try to... Yeah. Help me out, DP. Okay, a Zombies of the Corn t-shirt. Very kind, way too kind, way too kind. Thank you so much, Alex. Greatly appreciate it. Um, thank you so, so much. Well, that'll do it from Zombies of the Corn. Uh, thanks so much uh, to Alex. Um, I'm not sure what her official title is here, but she was very kind to us. Um, let us film portions of the haunt, let us film the zombie shoot, and give, it, give us a card um, for extra paintballs on that second run. So she was very kind to us. And, but guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you were new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me on Patreon like John Bailey did, you can do so. Link is in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, I know you can't see it because it's dark, but Tom wants here t-shirts. You can do so at Spreadshirt, as well as links to my eBay store, new Facebook page, not so new anymore, Instagram, and Clubhouse. But that'll wrap it up. From Zombies of the Corn, Freedom, Pennsylvania, my name is Tom and I was here. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, everyone.